Howdy, Matthew Pizzagatti here. Welcome back to the channel. Going to post a few clips in a row um, on separate videos from Forex Shark, the developer from uh, Drip Network, Animal Farm, etc., etc. Um, for those of you who are not in the Telegram, now if you do have Telegram or if you don't mind installing it, maybe you've not used it before, feel free to hop into the Telegram chat that I have linked in the description. That's mine, and I usually post these snippets and AMA recordings. Um, if I have them, I post them in the Telegram. But for those of you who are not on there, I'm posting these clips as I as I have them. So this first one is just, uh, I think, a quick clip of Forex talking about the lottery tickets. If you'd like a little more information on how those... He, he's trying to stray away from using the word lottery, but he keeps saying it. Um, <laughs> Scratch-offs will work. Uh, so a little more information on those scratch-off tickets. I'm just going to cut to a black screen, and here we go. Be a little bit cheaper there. When I say cheaper, I'd be less expensive. We will also be shopping this out as a type of white label service where other dev teams who want this amazing uh, scratch ticket protocol on their website can use it right there. They don't have to pay anything up front, but the terms are a percentage of all tickets sold on their platform goes to buying drip dog and pigs. And this is something that I know will be easy to spread and get other development teams to adopt. Right? Uh, that's uh, That I have no question about. And the more development teams are using it, the more different cash streams, uh, cash flows from different communities are coming in and buying drip and buying dogs and buying pigs. This is huge, right? So, not only will I be shopping this product as, uh, you know, through my own networks, personally, that raise that we're doing in the DAO for the uh, the the marketplace that's specifically for selling businesses, part of the deal I worked out with them is that they will be heavily marketing our uh, our product, right, our whitelisting service for this type of game on other platforms. So this is going to be a huge, huge new cash flow for for. Uh, drip dog and pigs and the tickets will be sold in B&B &B, but like I said a percentage of all the B&B &B raised goes to buying drip a, another percentage goes to payouts in uh, prizes another percent goes into the treasury to ensure the jackpot is getting larger with each bill and then the rest goes towards revenue sharing and it's a pretty good share that's going to, 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 to revenue, right? So it's really uh, something that's going to change the way that these type of games are uh, are, are developed, right? It's, re it's really something, uh, something special, I think, that we're bringing to the table here that no one else is doing. And we're doing it in a way that's going to allow us to raise a lot of capital for Drip. And... When we uh, when we shop it out as a white label service, what that means is the the mechanics to buy tickets, scratch tickets, all that will be available on these other developed teams' websites, and it will be themed. Let me just post an example here in the chat, uh, an example of a uh, piggy bank ticket, right? And you can see some of the numbers are scratched. Right? You scratch it like that with your mouse on the front end when you buy a ticket. It's so cool. But, so, when someone buys, uh, when someone essentially buys uh, into using this model, right? They want this model for their platform. We'll theme the ticket for their theme. And people will be able to interact with it on their site. Right? So, uh, these ones, specifically Drip, and the piggy bank one, they'll be available on the drip site and on the uh, the animal farm site, which gives a reason for people to be going there every day and, and buying their tickets and scratching their tickets and more capital going into drip and animal farm. So this is huge. And I'm partnering with two very cool teams to do this. One is Chainlink. And Chainlink's very excited because we're using their VRF service in a way that no one's ever done it before to really do a very cool... Uh, utility here and they already reached out to us to do a partnership 
right? They wanted to do a partnership with Drip. And, and when they asked for a partnership with Drip, I said, okay, we can do a partnership with Drip, but let me think of something cool, right? So it's actually worth promoting. So you can actually get like the attention of your community. And uh, this is, you know, this is what we're bringing to the table here. So they love it, right? So uh, we're going to get big cross promotion by Chainlink. And then um, I haven't spoken to the other dev team about uh, making them public or not. So I'm just not going to say who it is right now, but it's a very cool team that you guys would know about. They do good work. It's uh, it's a fun game that they produce, right? So uh, And they're good people. So, uh, yeah, I'll have a talk with them, and then maybe I'll, I, the next time I speak about this, I'll be naming them as well. But uh, one good thing is they have a full-time marketer on their team, right? So this, uh, I was saying this yesterday, that's one thing that I want to work on is getting a full-time marketer on our team. And we'll get a chance to do that on this project and see how it works and uh, potentially hire them for our other projects. But the fact that these are tied to other projects is going to be great regardless. Uh, that, for Roadmap, I would say it's a couple months out, right? Because I just don't want to rush, rush anything. I don't want to uh, speak out of turn. I don't want to say it's two, I don't want to say it's, you know, a month away when it's really two months away. So I'd rather say two months, but it's uh, a lot of it's done. The white paper's done. We've already had the meetings with Chainlink. Uh, I'm in constant communication with the people that I'm building this with. So that is, that is right around the corner, right, for Drip and for Animal Farm. Another thing that I really want to do that I've wanted to do is a type of lending protocol that allows you to use your Drip stake as collateral to lend a stable coin. And uh, that's something that I definitely still want to do. And... Now we see what recently happened with another project uh, where they could have had a stable coin that worked out pretty well, but they left a major issue in there that was very glaring. You know, any developer that really gave a hard eye on it knew that it was an issue and it was exploitable and it could have been passed and all of that could have been avoided. So we know that's, that is a... Uh, that is part of a model that could be used to do some kind of uh, lending, right? So so not exactly that model, but that kind of collateral-based staking protocol that uh, that has a, a stablecoin issue, right? So having a type of lending protocol for DRIP that, that issues a DRIP stablecoin is another thing that I'm going to put a lot of focus on. I just contacted one of my partner developers. That's actually BB, right? You guys all know BB. He went, he had to take a break because we've been grinding, grinding, grinding for like two years straight. And he has a family. So, uh, I promised him that, you know, stick it through for Animal Farm and we get off Animal Farm, you know, take a couple weeks off or whatever. Uh, but I just talked to him. I was like, when are you going to be back? He's like, I'll be back on the 20th full time. And I told him, all right, man. When you get back, we're going right into building this uh, this stablecoin uh, lending deal, right? So uh, we haven't started building that yet, but that's I mean that's on the forefront of my mind when BB gets back because that's that's right what I'm going to put him to work doing, right? With of course as a collaboration, me and him work, we do everything together. But he's someone that is very skilled at coding, so uh, we have a, we have a, a ton, right? I just listed off so many things. And I hate to give exact dates because I just, I get it done as soon as I can get it done and as quick and, and as, you know, secure as we could do it. So, you know, that's until the work is 100% done, I'm not giving out dates anymore. Right. So, you know, that was one of the issues with Piggy Bank. Uh, we, we left choosing the seed amount until, uh, kind of uh, the, as the last thing to do, and then we wanted to meet our dateline, uh, our deadline, and we ended up making kind of a fast, uh, last-minute decision, and I'm just going to ensure that we never put ourselves in the position again where we'll ever be making a uh, a, a last-minute decision to meet a deadline. So, you know, uh, for, for now on, you will never, ever hear me say a deadline for anything until the work is 100% done. 
And that's another reason why I kind of fell back a little bit. It wasn't super public because when you're very early on in development, then it's easy to make changes. It's easy to adjust. Someone suggests something, you can work it in. Uh, you're, you're far enough away from the deadline that you can say uh, it'll be a couple months or whatever, right? And it's not a big deal. But when you're in the last stretch of uh, development and you're, say, a week away from launch, you know you're a week away from launch, but it could be 14 days, it could be 12 days, it could be 10 days, it could be a week. Uh, and you know, you know, no changes are being made. This is it right here. You don't want to, uh, well, I don't like to make too many public statements, right? Because you're in the area where you know in a week you're going to have all the answers and you don't want to put your foot in your mouth. Uh, so, so, you know, I've been kind of hanging back until now because it's 100% them now. And now really it's about, uh, networking, connecting with the community. Uh, just know that the whole time, right? If, if you don't see me super active in voice chats and texting in the chat, what's, what's happening is I'm in the background every single day talking to other development teams, talking to potential partners, talking to my, uh, partner developers, working on things, running tests, uh, and just, just working, right? Working, working, working. So, uh, I don't know. I could answer a few questions, but I have an AMA tomorrow. And you guys hear my dog uh, freaking out. It's because someone just got to my house. So, uh, oh, good. For yeah, so I'm going to hang back and, and listen to the conversation or, or whatever.